The goal for this external is to count the number of bangs it receives and output bangs at certain intervals. These intervals are specified when the object is created. Before getting to the logic for counting the bangs, we need to create additional outlets and add them to the class. We'll start by going to the struct, and just after mod A and mod B, we'll create new members of the type T outlet. Now, important here is that these members will be pointers. So we need the star, and then we'll call it out A, star out B, out sync, and then finally out count. Next, we need to create these outlets in our initializing function. So let's head down to polybang new. So just underneath set mods, I'll type x out a equals, and the method to create an outlet is outlet underscore new, and it needs a pointer to its owner and a pointer to the symbol type, that is the, the type of data that's flowing out of it. So the first argument is ampersand x and x obj. Don't forget the ampersand. And this second is ampersand s underscore bang. And that is a convenient shortcut to the symbol type for a bang. Copy this line, paste it, and change a to b since they both output the same type. And really, that's also applicable to the third outlet, which is out sync. And the last outlet will output a float. So x out count equals outlet new. And the owner is ampersand x, x obj. And the symbol is ampersand s float. Now we have initialized our outlets. And you may recall earlier, I mentioned that if we create certain resources, we might need to free them if an object's deleted. And that is the case here because outlets and inlets that you create do need to be freed. So let's go to line 52. And this was actually the free method. And it's going to be of type T method. And we'll call it polybang free. Now we haven't created this yet. So the compiler is going to complain. Let's copy the name. And just after polybang new void polybang free, and the argument will be a pointer of type polybang. To free the outlets, it's pretty simple. We'll call the outlet free method, and we'll pass each of the outlets. So x out a, copy it, and then out b, out sync, and out count. Let's actually send data to the outlets within the bang function. So just after the post to the PD window, we'll type outlet underscore. And then if you take a look at the list, there are these different uh, messages that are indicated. So outlet bang would send a bang to the specified outlet. Same with the list, float, etc. So we want outlet bang. And then the argument is the outlet that the bang needs to go to. So x out a copy it b and sync the last outlet is a float so outlet float and that's going to go out x out count and then the number or the float to send out let's just type one bring up the navigator and build copy the file and replace the existing one with PD shutdown. Let's run it again. Now we'll create polybang and let's create two creation arguments, create a bang. And now we'll create a couple of bangs and a number box. And when we hit the bang, we should see all of these flash, and this should turn to one. Now there's no counting because we haven't written the logic, but we're certainly on our way to getting a functioning external.